Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 10 of Book 2, which states that if we have a line, AB, bisected at the point C and extended to the point D, then AD squared plus BD squared is equal to twice of AC squared plus CD squared. To demonstrate this, first we have to draw our figure, and to do that we will draw a line perpendicular to AB through the point C, define the point E such that it is equal to AC and CB, draw our lines AE and EB. Now we will draw a line parallel to AB through the point E, and draw a line parallel to EC through the point D. Before we continue drawing our diagram, first we will notice that EC and FD are parallel lines, and EF crosses these two parallel lines. So the external and internal angles, or exterior to internal opposite angles, are equal. So gamma is equal to a right angle, and since EC and FD are parallel lines, epsilon plus gamma is equal to two right angles, and thus gamma plus theta must be less than two right angles. And according to the, po to the postulate 5, I wrote proposition, but I should have said postulate, according to postulate 5, if the sum of these two angles is less than 180 degrees, these two lines will meet. And we will call the intersection point G. So finally, we will now draw a line from A to G. So to recap, EC equals AC equals CB, EC, FG are parallel, AB and EF are parallel. Now, let's look at our triangle AEC. C is a right angle because we constructed it that way. Since EC is equal to AC, we have an isosceles triangle, and consequently the two base angles must be equal, according to Proposition 5. And according to Proposition 32, the sum of all the angles within a triangle equals 180 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees, and these two are equal, this angle and this angle must both, both be equal to 45. Using the same arguments, we get that this angle and this angle is equal to 45 degrees, and consequently, AEB is equal to 45 plus 45, or 90 degrees. So this angle here is a right angle. That's important to remember. Now, since this angle is 45 degrees, and this is a vertical angle, According to Proposition 15, they are both equal, so we know that this angle is equal to 45 degrees. We know that this angle and this angle are right, since they are parallel lines, the opposite and interior angles are equal, so this is a right angle. Well, if this is a right angle, and this, if this is a right angle, and this is 45 degrees, then this angle must also be 45 degrees. If the base angles are equal, according to Proposition 6, we have an isosceles triangle, so BD equals DG. So these two sides are equal. And finally, we know that this is 45 degrees, and this is 45 degrees, we've already demonstrated that, so EF equals FG, and this is an isosceles triangle. So to summarize, this is an isosceles triangle, so these two sides are equal. These two sides are equal. These two sides are equal. And finally, these two sides are equal. So, using Pythagoras' theorem, and looking at the triangle AEC, we know that AE squared equals EC squared plus AC squared. But since AC is equal to EC, we have AE squared is equal to twice AC squared. Using the same logic, we have EG squared equals GF squared plus FE squared. 
or eg squared equals ef squared, but ef is equal to cd because this is a rectangle. So we have eg squared is twice cd squared. Now looking at this triangle, which we know it to be a right angle triangle, using Pythagoras' theorem again, we have ag squared equals ae squared plus eg squared. But we already have defined what ae squared is equal to and what eg squared is equal to. So substituting these two equalities into this equation, we have that ag squared is equal to twice ac squared plus cd squared. Looking at ag squared again, but with a different triangle, again this is a right angle, so ag squared equals AB's, sorry, AD squared plus DG squared. Or since DG is equal to BD, we have AG squared equals AD squared plus DB squared. This squared plus this squared equals that squared. But now we have two equations for AG squared. AG squared here and ag squared here. Since equals are equal to equals, we basically have that this is equal to that. So we have that ad squared plus db squared equals twice ac squared plus cd squared. ad squared plus db squared is equal to twice ac squared plus cd squared. And there you go. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.